Hello everyone, I'm Marlies. And I'm Elise. And this is Megxit Mex Dish. Dish. Wow. Earlier this week, an announcement came out that was a royal bombshell. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have announced that they are stepping back from royal duties as senior royals to become financially independent and they're actually moving to Canada and are going to divide their time between North America and Britain. I, my first reaction is like, you can do that? <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Well, I mean, the Neither reaction, anyone, I think. the reaction has been seismic, wouldn't you say? Yeah. They said that the queen was blindsided. The queen had heard murmurs or they had discussed it with her, but she specifically, very specifically asked them not to go public with this. They went ahead anyway and did things their own way and really has ruffled a lot of royal feathers. But part of me th thinks how horribly unhappy must they have been to, to make a step like this. Well, let's talk about this because they weren't at Christmas for Sa uh, in Sandringham. And Sandringham, that's a big deal. Which that is, is a, a huge deal. deal. It felt like a snubbing, although they said there have been other senior royals that have missed Christmas at Sandringham before. And I'm sure they had permission. But they went to Canada over the holidays for six weeks. And they stayed at this gorgeous, sprawling mansion, uh, you know, given to them by, well, lent them by a friend. And they were safe from paparazzi the entire time. Yes. So well, they had they had difference. they had protection. So, look, this is what their their announcement said, which is they're stepping back as senior royals. They want to become financially independent. They want to be able to make their own living and uh, while still supporting the queen. So, what does that mean, do you think, to Harry and Meghan to be financially independent? Well, I think if they are not on money connected with the crown at all, because mm -hmm. I think only a small portion of their income comes from the public fund, mm -hmm. and most of it comes from uh, the Duchy of Cornwall. Cornwall, yeah. So I think if they can get off of the, the money and make their own money, right. they can call their own shots. Right. And I think that's the ultimate goal. Well, it's being called the Megxit. <laughs> Brexit it's is Britain leaving the EU. And Megxit is Meghan clearly wanting to leave Britain. We were there the day that they got married. We were in Windsor, we covered the royal wedding, yeah. and from what we saw, it was like the uniting of two countries it coming together in the most amazing happiness. Wouldn't yes. you say? Of course, you know, we're in Windsor where people who support them are going, are to, going be, to be there. You know, but there there has been on the other side, Megan has had some really harsh treatment in the press. Yes, she has had to deal with a lot of harsh press, uh, a lot of criticism, and now there's talk, uh, you know, if it was racist because she's had to deal with, you know, a lot of trolls I, yeah, and tabloids. I think it's tabloids. safe to say there was, there was a good amount of racism. There's a good amount of sexism. Yeah, so because I, I with was with all of this happening, everyone's blaming her. And right. they forget that Harry was not a toe the line royal to start yeah, with. Exactly. Or they might he was not a bad been, boy. He was a yeah, wild boy. They might we not liked have him been attracted that. to each other, but exactly. then we thought, oh, they're getting married, they're gonna settle down. On the other side though, I don't think any of us really know what we're getting into with that sort of thing until right. you're in. Right. I think you know, because I mean for me, I sit back in my jammies are like, I could have done it, but you know, I really do that. really <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so Patrick Jeffson, Princess Diana's former chief of staff, was on CNN talking about it. And he was very specifically saying that he wished that they had done it in a different way. It was disrespectful to the Queen. So he felt that the royal family welcomed her, that the British public welcomed her because they're very tolerant. And we felt that the whole biracial addition to the royal family was moving them forward into the 21st century. She represented the melting pot that is Britain, you know. But he, he believes that a majority of the bullying and of that sort of racial poking is comes from online trolls tabloids. and tabloids. tabloids. The tab very tabloids we hated that hounded Princess Diana to her death. Yeah. It happened so quickly, I can't help but think, was there something that happened that was the straw Beforehand. that broke the yeah. camel's back? Tolstoy said <laughs> that all happy families are like, but each unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. I've got to come to Megan's defense in some way because we just don't know what we she don't was going know through. all the facts. Of course, we don't. So we're just, you know, we're just conjecturing and uh, Monday Monday morning quarterbacking is what we're doing. Yeah, In the beginning, I think that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex did things their own way and they've gone and done it. So here's the fallout that I'm here. And I spoke to some friends in the UK who are British citizens who are not necessarily monarchists. Okay, so they're Republicans, meaning they don't think there should be a royal family. What can be the blowback from mm. this move because I think the royal family it's already precarious and people are asking are they still relevant how relevant is it to have a monarch so 
Queen Elizabeth is well into her 90s. I mean, I think she's doing well, but who well, knows? And after she came her, from a different generation, yes. and I think the monarchy is going to, by necessity, look very different when yes. her reign, reign is done. So the only thing I don't agree with is the way they went about it. Yeah. Uh, and it it's seems harder shocking. to have sympathy when it they're coming like, from a place of such incredible privilege. Yeah. When, uh, yeah. you know, you talk about being financially independent and you're coming from a place where you never have to worry if you're kid is going to miss a meal. You don't have to worry if your kid gets sick. You don't have to worry about how you're going to pay insurance. You're from a very privileged a place. Great they, point. They just renovated Frogmore House for them and to I the hear that. To the tune of 2.4 million pounds. Well, I don't know when the last time it was renovated, but I remember <laughs> reading about that with King George III's daughters living there, so it probably needed some luck. <laughs> so there's a whole bunch of questions that everybody's wanting to know. Yeah. Financially independent, what does that mean? If you're still taking two and a half uh, million pounds from Charles's personal estate, the Duchy of Cornwall, Cornwall, to fund your financial independence, that doesn't sound, that sounds like daddy's paying I'd your like way. I'd like that kind of independence guy, myself. I'd like part of the so. Duchy of Cornwall too. So that doesn't sound like financially <laughs> independent. But listen, they're the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They're going to come to North America and they're going to, they're going to Fall command. Fall into a tub of butter. <laughs> That's what they're going to do. Butter. Because everybody wants, everybody everybody wants, wants a, a piece, piece of, of them. <laughs> Absolutely. I want to go to a party with Meghan Markle. She signed a deal with Disney. Listen, I thought she's going to be the next princess. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But no, I posted it. I'm like, oh my God, Meghan Markle got her first gig already. You know, they're always, <laughs> always saying we need a name for this. Talk about a name. She is the name now to beat all names. Yeah, real life princess becomes she a Disney can pick princess. And choose. She she's, can pick and choose and she can stay. Adina Menzel, move over. That's she all I'm saying. She can keep it classy and still really <laughs> well, have a payday What here. we found out was she's lending her voice to these projects and in exchange, they are going to contribute to her charities, her African charities. And that's which, a beautiful. There you go, which I, I think, think is wonderful. wonderful. But listen, it's not going to pay for that 10 million square foot mansion that they're living in <laughs> in Canada. Signs that they might not be coming back. Megan took her two dogs with her. The two dogs are already in Canada. They feel like they're, they're even though they're dividing their time between North America and Britain, that a majority of it's going to be in North America. Mm, that's going to be tricky. Which is sad. Yeah. I, I, I feel like it's sad to do to the Queen, taking away her grandson, her great-grandson. I, I, so I look to Prince Edward and Sophie. Yeah. I look at the job that they do. You know, they go about their business. Mm -hmm. They do the ribbon cuttings. They show up to charity events. And and nobody bothers them. Yeah, but they know? are based in Britain, I think. And they're based in Britain, and it just seems to be okay. So do you think that this was the Diana effect with, with Megan? I that, don't know. you know, there was such a great interest in her that they just hounded her, and so Harry saw a similar pattern to what happened to his no. mother. The press hounding her. Yeah, now I'm gonna go and, and he armchair cut the cord psychiatrist on that. Yeah. here, but you know, I've known people I've grown up with whose mothers suffered abuse in different ways. And the children can grow up very protective of their families. And if this That's is true. Harry's way of protecting his family, we, like we said, there might have been a straw that broke the camel's back. We don't know what we that is. So, Interesting piece of tidbit. Yeah, on their website they've announced because Harry has a history with the press and he doesn't like the press and the media. So, and rightfully so, you yeah. know, he's dealing with the death of his mother and, and he's had to, to deal with those emotions all these years. So they have put new uh, new requirements out for the media that they will allow to cover them. Wow. It has to be, you know, specialized media, obviously established media. And they said they'll even talk to like up and coming young reporters. People are gonna be hateful and spread lies. Yes. Are gonna do that if they do or do not have access. There's or... something about the press though that, that, that that's just- The press just, is different. The press and, and the media. Press. The tabloid <laughs> yeah. press. There's yeah, something different. about the tabloid press which is they love to build you up yeah. and then knock you down. They do. They love to make you the hero. We love this brand new shining diamond, this princess. And they want her to fall hard. And then they want to see them yeah. fall. Because now maybe they will be a little more political because that is in uh, yes. Megan's background. Since yes. she was a little girl, she was fighting for social yes. justice. And she has to walk a very fine line as a royal. Yes. And maybe <laughs> as a stepped back royal, she can be a little more passionate about her causes without getting the beat yes. down from the gray suits. So we don't another know. question we want to ask is, will they keep their HRH? Will they keep the Duke and Duchess of Sussex? Do yeah. they keep their titles? I hope so. I really I hope do. I so too. Again, I'm a tra I traditionalist. I want it all to stay the same. We're going into a new decade. It is going to be a new decade for the monarchy. It is. So we, is. we're going to wait and be cheering everybody on from afar. <laughs>
So we are raising a teacup in toast to Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The Anglophile Channel is wishing you all the best of happiness, health, and prosperity in the new year and in the decade to come. Cheers. From the Anglophile Channel, I'm Marlies. And I'm Elise. And we're Megxit Dish. Dish.